Mom, welcome to Quiet 2. I am back with another video. I haven't had a sit down video in a very long time. If you hear the noises, I'm in a not so quiet place, you know. Don't, don't mind that. Just ignore the background and focus on my sound. I'll try to speak a bit louder so that way you can hear me more clearly. Anyways, enough of that. I am back with another video of Tanzanian Creatives. We are on video number nine. We have done eight so far, and that means we have done about 80 Tanzanian creatives today will make it 90 and there's still so many more that I haven't come across So if you have any Tanzanian creatives that you like or you enjoy their content Please share it down below or let me know on Instagram Just send me the link and I shall check them out. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video The first person on our list today will be Bongo Humans. Now Bongo Humans, I believe he's a storyteller. What he does, I might be wrong again. What he does is he tells stories of different Tanzanians. If you have seen the Instagram page of somebody called Humans of New York, I feel like it's something close to that, but it's based in Bongo and I think it was a genius idea. So let's check out his profile. All right, so this is his, their profile, the profile is Humans of Bongo and one story at a time. Hadithi Moja Kawakati. So this is the people he has featured so far. Um, we shall click on one of them. I believe he writes his captions in English, but then sometimes he writes them in English and Swahili. I know I saw one, I just can't find it. But I know, yeah, I know that sometimes you write it in English and Swahili as well. This one you wrote in English and Swahili. So please check him out and follow him. Um, it is created by Tyreek JPG, JPG. So check both of them out and follow them on Instagram. The second person is Bronze Photos and he's known as Mr. Chabo. He is a photographer. I believe I've seen most of his photos are based on weddings, but I'm not sure if he just goes to trace on wedding or he just an overall photographer. He can, he can take any kinds of pictures, but his pictures are pretty nice. So let's check out his profile as well. All right, so this is the profile of Bronze photos he's visual arts he's a photographer he has his phone number there and i also think he's based in tanzania but basically these are his pictures they are very nice and clear and just very sharp i think sharp is the word i was looking for they're also very sharp so you know if you are having a wedding soon maybe check him out and yeah follow him on instagram as well Next, we have Naezi Eyes, and she is a photographer who I believe is based on Tanzania. Most of these videos that I make, it's hard for me to find like creatives that are female in Tanzania, Tanzanian creatives that are female. So whenever I find a female creative in Tanzania or who's Tanzanian, I am so, so, so happy. So let's check out her Instagram. Okay, so this is her Instagram. She is a photographer. She wrote something in French, I believe. So I don't know what that means. And she is based in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Now, this profile is nice. I really like the aesthetic. It's so clean. Um, it gives you like, how, how do you call that mood? It gives you some sort of mood. If you've edited with Visco, is it Visco? I think it's Visco. I believe it's visco. If it's not, I'll have it linked down below. But if you'd edit it with that, you'd understand the kind of mood that I'm talking about. This is nice. This is really nice. Also, I liked this picture as well. I thought it was nice. This is really nice too. And this is nice. If yo, this product photography is good. Her pictures look good, but the product photography is on a different level. I really, really like it. So please check her out on Instagram, Naezi Eyes, and her name is Natalia Erika. Next, we have Jambo Navi Jambo. <laughs> the name sounds funny on its own, but this is a comedian, or it's a group of comedians, I am not sure. I came across him through a recommendation from someone else, and he does a lot of comedy, but he does it impersonating Jesus, if that makes sense. I know if you speak Swahili and you watch the videos, you will probably understand what I'm saying. But if you don't speak Swahili, I hope that makes sense. Um, they're based in Tanzania as well. Not sure what city they're based in, but let's check out 
their profile and then maybe we can see one or two of the videos okay so this is his profile now when i was saying he was impersonating jesus like what do you see on this picture that's what i meant he would be the one who is second from left he is kind of dressed like jesus and most of the people who are acting with him might as well be dressed like jesus so let me see one of his videos okay maybe that's not the prime example maybe this might be better <laughs> okay i'm going to stop there because i don't know if i'm gonna get copyrighted but if you're into comedy i will highly suggest you check out his videos and his profile on instagram next on the list we have nufates i don't know if i'm saying the name correctly and then i'm also not sure if i featured him on the previous video but if i did well, we're here back again and he is a photographer who i believe is based in tanzania as well so let us check out his profile so this is nufate's profile he is into art he's a creative and an artist and these are his pictures yeah, man, these pictures are so nice we like the color scheme neutrals browns they make me so happy but these are really really cute pictures as well and then the black and white photography is also really on point I admire people who can do black and white photography and the pictures come out nicely it really I find it very impressive so please check him out on Instagram the username is the next we have Yesaya software now I believe he creates const I believe he creates content that is based on technology um, software software programming i think or maybe software engineering but he deals with software i came across him through a recommendation of somebody else who was in the tech industry and then i checked out his instagram and followed him so let's check him out okay so this is his instagram profile yesaya software mimi ni yesaya hapa tutajadili mambo nayofanya wakati naanda mifumo ya computer what do you call mifumo kwa kingereza I'm not sure but yeah so he died he deals with computer software and he's also a podcaster so please check him out on Instagram it is a Sire software he also has his website listed here so you can check out his website and I also believe he has YouTube videos as well so you can check that as well so all these are the coding languages that he is familiar with and he teaches so if you are into programming or if you're looking to go into the tech industry and you're tanzania i believe this is somebody you should definitely follow and check out next we have hakika ruben now hakika ruben i came across him through tiktok and i believe a lot of east africans and tanzanians know of him his videos are hilarious i really have a great time from watching his videos so let's check out his instagram okay so this is his instagram he's a public figure and I believe he's also Tanzanian. I hope I'm not wrong. And his videos, Jamani, I think I reposted this one. Kwa hiyo ukiniacha mimi unamwachia nani? Unaniacha na nani unamwachia nani sasa? Mimi takataka. Sasa ukiniacha uoni kuwa askari watakukamata kwamba umeacha matakataka kwenye njia. Lazima Okay, so this is his Instagram username is Hakika Ruben and you can also find him on TikTok using the same username. Next on the list we have Tom Jones. He's a writer, director, DP and editor. And he also posts YouTube videos that share filming tips and tricks. So let's check out his Instagram profile. Okay, so this is his Instagram page, Tom Jones STJ and his videos look very nice i feel like they're really well done the lighting especially i really like it so let's hear one of these Mimi ni Tom Jones. Leo, rack focusing. He is zero budget. okay so that's one of the promos for his videos so please check him out tom jones 
on YouTube I believe his username is the same Tom Jones so check him out on YouTube and check him out on Instagram as well next we have Daniel Samuel who is a photographer based in Tanzania and I came across his profiles today while I was searching for creatives to feature on this video so let's check out his Instagram profile okay so this is his Instagram profile he's a photographer from Arusha living in Tanzania and I think right now he's based in Arusha now I liked his pictures especially his wildlife pictures as I said I just swiftly went through his photos in this profile and I just like the look of it it's very I don't know how to explain it but it just warms the soul I like warm colors I like neutrals and these pictures are really nice they're also very sharp you know how sometimes pictures are distorted when you post them on Instagram that's not the case on his pictures so yeah check him out on Instagram he goes by the name Danny Samuel last but not least we have Mje Uri Art and he's an artist who is based in Tanzania and I came across his profile right before I started filming this video so let's check out his Instagram profile okay so this is his Instagram profile and he's very talented by the way Yanni very talented I'm not an advocate for smoking however this is a very intriguing photo um this is also really nice Yamani not wanna be paji Yo, this is really nice. I really like that. This too, it's... Mister, you are very, very talented. Very, very, very talented. So, Yamani, check him out. These pictures are really nice. This is gorgeous. He, he's a very talented artist. Very, very talented. The only I keep repeating, he is a very talented artist. So if you've not checked him out, check him out on what is this this is what instagram his username is mjuri art all right so that's all that we have for this video those are 10 creatives that are tanzanian some are based in tanzania some are not based in tanzania and if you have any recommendations of any creatives that i should check out please let me know in the comment section and i will definitely check them out and feature them on my next video Thank you so much for watching. Remember to keep spreading the African love or whatever kind of love you have to offer because there's no room for hate. I shall see you soon. Kwaheri!